everybody might be questioning, what are you doing without an OPS? Oh, oh, man. Oh. And why is a project already done if you're doing a project video? It's because my other video, I paused it and accidentally deleted it, so I have to make a new one. I actually made two of it and I deleted it, so I make a new one. We're making this little, this thing for my dog. Might look disgusting. It's just peanut butter on a bone. Not that disgusting. And guess who we're making this for? You. Yes, my dog is very patiently sitting here, waiting. This is Roy. It's Roy right there. Isn't he nice? I'm not saying my dog's not nice. He's very nice. So if you want, so if, so this is a Halloween trick. If you have trick or treaters that come to your house all the time, this could calm your dog down if they bark a lot. If they are very secure about your surrounding, if they are very protective and protective about you right there, see you on the camera. I see you're watching this. But if you want your dog to be quiet, this could be the perfect trick for you. So I'm gonna call this the frozen bono. Here are the ingredients. Your old dog's bone, or your dog's bone with dog hair on it. But first wash it, of course. First wash this. Peanut butter, I know this is not Jif or peanut butter. <sighs> My dad really likes this kind of peanut butter, so. Not sponsored, by the way. The tiny spoon, which is not like puff ingredients, it's sort of just like, you know, one of the things you need, tiny spoon, or any kind of spoon. Plastic bag, which not sponsored too. And then you get the peanut butter and you put it on the bone. So like this, you know, like that. Oh, and you need a freezer. So then you might know what I'm going for. So then it's all done. Then you put your treat, this in, put this thing in a bag. I don't want to get this hand dirty because it's the hand. I'm using a film, so. And it's okay if you get a little messy. You know, you just wash it off. You put it in the bag and you zip the bag. Clean the bag, which I am about right now. Then it's cleaned, then put in freezer. For approximately a couple minutes or an hour. Depends on how much time you have. Clean everything. Put away the peanut butter. It's too heavy for a camera and peanut butter. You get the reason I can hear, carry it now. Ooh. Throw this away. And then, doop. then you wash whatever you want to use next. It's washed now. And then you put this back in this little pin or whatever it, you want to put it in. But this is not the one that Don't, so no. Okay. Then you just do whatever you want with this bone, but you have to wait. If you want two bones done, if you have two dogs, you have to wait for this one to dry and the other one that's in your freezer to freeze. You have to do one at a time. That's the thing I had to tell you too. If you're doing this, you have to watch the whole entire thing because I made this just now. I assume it's a thing already, but you know. And the Halloween part of this is that, I think I already told you, but uh, you could just get the thing. It won't be too messy because it's frozen, and it will lead your dog wherever you want to put it, and it will just make your dog distracted and not bark at the person, and it will just take the time off from barking at the trick-or-treater. This could work for any occasion, honestly. It could work for your mailman, your friend, for anyone, really. But this could honestly work for literally anything. While well, I'm rambling, Willow. Well, 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 well. I hope he's excited. If you want to learn about Roy, uh, I'm probably going to make a video about him soon. As you can tell, his name is Roy. And he's my favorite dog in the world. He is almost two. His birthday's on the 25th right next to Halloween. He's the best dog at Halloween, by the way, because no one comes to our house, so just in case, you know. 
Here's another trick with your extra dog's bone. Here's another trick for your dog's bones when they're done using them or they're just really dirty. Roy has quite a few unused bones he doesn't use. Don't look at me like that, you old bud. Then this is his toy bin. We, of course, clean these all the time when, you know, sometimes. Most of the time, though. We keep his old bandanas here. He can't fit in this one anymore. And yes, that is a raggedy handle. Not haunted, by the way. Just because it's Halloween, we have her around. She's she's literally our home. Literally the best person. Or whatever. The best doll in the world. And then we have a bones. This is like Roy's little area. Back there, don't. That's a that's a pillow and a trash bag. He hangs out back here some most of the time. So he has his treats. This is his bed. She's here because we have nowhere else to put her. And then that, we don't know. I think we're going to put like a thing here for his treats or something like that, but we don't know completely. I think they're prob- I think this is probably done. Are you excited about this, Roy? You have to take it outside, though. Keep it in the bag so they that they know where they are. So there it goes, it's right there. He really likes it, it's frozen treat. And he can have this later, or what the heck, with his food, he likes peanut butter with everything. So see how he gets a, like, he's like, doesn't pay attention to anything. Like, I'm gonna dance right now. He has a little fuzz on him. He wants to take it inside, even though it's really dirty. See, like, I'm going to dance right now for a minute. As you can tell, he really likes that. And then you can just put the rest of it somewhere else or what the heck. But it's a couple hours later. As you can tell, it's pretty dark outside now. So I'll just put this on the ground. What you can do with the bag excess is you could just flip it around and you could just hold it and let the dog eat it when your dog's done with the thing. He will try to eat it, but it's okay because you're in the hands with it. So I'm just going to wait a little while for him to eat this for a little. As you can tell, these tricks work. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, kitties. Bye. Say goodbye, Roy.